It can always end like that. Hey everybody, it's Brett and Ed. Hello, hello. From moreguitars.com. And we here have, we have here today a lot of tomfoolery, but we have the, uh, the RG500 series, 550s. Yeah, these are the RG550s, the Genesis models, and they are bringing it back. Yeah. 1987, <laughs> once it's colors back. It was, <laughs> it was, this was like my first real guitar back in the day. You know what yeah, I mean? Nice. I had the $82 piece of junk that dad would get me. And then I got, I stepped up to this a couple guitars later and I still have it. I should have brought it to the video. Just for oh, the goof, cool. you know, yeah. But, yeah, whatever. It's got the horn broken off of it and everything. So, but anyway, so we are here, moreguitars.com. We are here for your viewing pleasure. And uh, if you can't see these guitars. <laughs> You're blind. <laughs> you, you need some ocular uh, therapy. So these are the uh, new Genesis guitars. They, um, they're kind of bringing these things back and doing it in a, in a good way. You know, these colors are pretty bitching, like yeah. you said. But... Um, just kind of run through the specs real quick so we can just kind of get on to the fun part of this. It is a basswood body, a five piece maple and walnut neck. You can see the little stripes of walnut running through there. Um, pretty cool, really cool. It's a super wizard neck, so it is pretty super mm -hmm. actually. You know, it's like you always, you say if, the, if it's too what is it, if it's too wide, you don't get along with it too much? I just got stubby fingers, um, but the, the Ibanez, those that don't play Ibanez, they've been messing with the necks for a long time. You yeah. know, they've changed quite a bit over the years, but it still is a very, very fast neck um, with a very flat radius. You know, this is a, a I believe it's a 16, it's almost 17 inch radius yeah. on, this, on this guitar. So uh, it's for the player that's gonna appreciate that and the medium jumbo frets, but you know, the tonal variety that you can get out of this guitar oh, is what silly. really makes it, you know, uh, a, a super guitar, you know, yeah. I love this thing. Obviously maple fretboard, the uh, Edge Tremolo, which is much like another type of Tremolo mm -hmm. that we won't speak of, but uh, that's, and then so the, the, the pickups, they sure. are the, the V7 and the V8 and the S1, right? That's right, that's right. We have the ceramic magnet in the neck position and all Nico in the bridge and the center. Um, and it just gives you a lot of, you know, very cool. Stays in tune. Yes, indeed. Even through it's the, working. The dive bombiest of songs. So, what would you what would you consider like like if if you were telling somebody, hey, I had one of these back in the day, what would you say is like an upgrade from that? What would you say, like they've obviously done some things with the, the neck size, you know, the neck carve and everything, but do you notice anything different about it other than the, the neck? Um, definitely, I mean, I think there's been improvement over the pickups. I mean, they just sound better. They've always been yeah. good, but especially in these clean tones and these out of phase switches, like position four, <laughs> they love to play in the clean, you know, because yeah. you don't associate that with this guitar, uh -huh. I think visually, but you know, it's designed for the guy who, who, you know, is, a, I think, the guitar player that's, that's adept in a lot of different styles because yeah, you, come to, true you come to music, yeah, all yeah. different styles of music. You're gonna want something that's gonna be perform on the, on the high end, high gain end, and also sound really, really great on, the, on, on your clean channels too. Well, if you think about that, like the, the, the guy that's playing, or gal, I should say, mm -hmm. that's playing, you know, jazz, they want a neck like this too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if, if it's metal, obviously if you're shredding your ass off, yeah. you want you want a neck like this. So there's really, you know, other than these wild colors, you know, it, it's built for whoever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's it can happen. Absolutely. It, it does happen. And I love it. You can go, it's like from the, that stuff to, you know. 
So, whenever, whenever we were, whenever we were messing with these, getting them ready, tuning them up, and everything, this came right out of the box. I didn't, I didn't have to take. Well, we didn't take, we didn't loosen the nut off on that mm -hmm. one. It was ready to rock. This one I did just because when Bird shot it, he had to mess with the tuning knobs because he makes it all pretty. But. Um, shot the pictures I should say he didn't shoot the guitar but anyway so they came right out of the box playing really nicely I didn't adjust the front the neck at all so that's what you know guitar makers are getting better these days it used to be you know every out of every 10 guitars we'd pull out yeah. eight of them we'd have to doctor yeah. so yeah, definitely making it a lot easier on us because they're getting better out of the box so you want to play a little um little Heavy? Sure. I'll throw something at you. Ibanez, who would have thunk? So the next cool thing about this is the pickup switching. And uh, Ed, uh, you wanna, I'll, I'll explain, you okay. play a little bit okay. on each one. So position one, which is the humbucker in the bridge position. So we've got volume. <laughs> So then that's also this kind of thing. Nice. Both of those things. Position two is the um, bridge pickup, this little coil right here, this little guy, and this little guy, okay? So those two pickups, I'm gonna let it. Booty shaking. So the middle pickup is the middle position, and that is good for. Nice. Mm -hmm. New tricks. Uh, position four. bluesy yeah. kind of got that spank but yeah some body to it and then position five is the humbucker in the bridge or in the sorry the neck pickup sorry Yes, 
That's gain. So the RG, the Genesis series, kind of new from Ibanez, kind of old. It's great, it's great. Awesome. Extremely stable tuning, fun to play. Yeah. I enjoy this. It's very much so. So please subscribe to our video, our YouTube channel. And uh, if you have any questions, you can call us, chat, email. You can talk to Rob, me, Ed. Any of us here are willing to help you. More than willing. Very happy to help you. Um, moreguitars.com. We would love to chat with you about these beautifully 80s colors and <laughs> guitars. See ya.